Hi, welcome to another workout with me, Suzanne, and with Chris. Chris. We're the Fitter Hubbles, and we've got an all over body workout for you today. You're going to need a barbell. If you don't have a barbell, don't worry. You can use dumbbells, and if you don't have dumbbells, that's not a problem whatsoever. You can use bottles of water, even cans of beans. Now, make sure that you are warmed up and ready to go with your workout. If you haven't had a look, and you need a warm up, head onto our YouTube channel, find some of the warm up videos there to really get you going. And whilst you're there, make sure that you subscribe as well. All right, over to you, Hubble. Okay, cool. So this is our blast format. So that is six exercises in total. We're gonna do each exercise for 20 seconds. We're gonna layer them up. So we're making like a pyramid and then we're coming down and finishing off with just the one. Okay, so 20 seconds on. Then it's ready to rumble. Let's go. Weights up. Start session. Okay, bicep curls. Right, shoulders back. Full range of movement. So all the way up to your shoulders and all the way to your thighs. So this is all about range of movement. It doesn't have to be quick. Trust me, you don't want to go too quick because your body starts to take over. Alright, and hold. So you can hold the bar if you want to. My suggestion is put it down. So you've got 20 seconds rest here. So we're going to go back to the first exercise. So bicep curls, at this time we've got bent over rows. Five seconds. Okay, off we go. So again, four range of movement. All the way up, all the way touching your thighs. Arms extending. Okay team, you've got five seconds, so we've got bent over rows. So we're gonna go down to the knees and grow. So back nice and flat, stick your bottom out, and pull the bar on a vertical line. Squeezing your shoulder blades in at the top. Three seconds guys. And hold, okay, weights down. How are you doing so far? All right, so third move coming up. That's our upright row. All right, elbows come up nice and high. Bar underneath your elbows, not at the bar. Okay, five seconds. Okay, Suzanne is giving you the easier option, or if you haven't got a bar, a dumbbell option. Okay, still full range of movement. Five seconds here, so bent over rows coming up next. So we travel down to the knees, shoulder blades squeezed in, back nice and flat, chin slightly tucked. We don't want to take the head forwards. So chin slightly tucked, so the back is nice and flat. 10 seconds. So you're gonna to need to change your hand grip for this one. All right, so stand up, change your hand grip, and then into our upright rows. So far, guys. Awesome, okay. Weights down. Okay, so fourth move coming up. So calf raises. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the bar up on our shoulders and come up into our calves. Five seconds, bicep curls. Shoulders back. Let's go. Full range of movement. Nice and tall, lift the chest. Do you remember this song, Hobbs? Okay, let's go down, bent over rows. Hold. I am, shoulder blades are here. seconds guys you need to change your grip remember into upright rows so elbows high remember elbows higher than the bar ok 
Okay, so this one is going to sit up on the shoulders and we come into the calves. So feet underneath your hips. Bit of silence. Next rep coming up. Squeeze through those calves, right? Awesome, okay, bars down. All right, number five coming up. So that's our wide squat. So from here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna step out and then come into our wide squat, okay? But out and down, hips down at knee height. All right, back to our bicep curls. Ten seconds. All right, how are we doing? Start to feel any arms now, Hobbs? I sure am. Me too. All right, bent over rows, yeah? Come down. Right, so, let's have a look see how this takes you doing. Butt out, yeah? Flat back. Shoulder blades, we're going to pinch here, all right? Elbows driving up past the ribs. I did, I did, I did. Now, vertical line with the bar. All right, change that move. So, upright row. Elbows high. Good. Okay, we've got five seconds here, so we need to get that bar up onto the collarbone. Drag it up, sit it into our calf raises. So, okay, make sure your feet are underneath your hips. Nice and high. Squeeze through your calves. Ten seconds. So we've got a wide squat coming up. We're going to keep the bar here. Oh, oh, take it out. Nice and wide. All right, this is tough. So the bar in front of us, or the weights in front of us, will make the body try and go forward. So you've got to counterbalance that by sitting nice and tall. Nice and low, yeah? Get that butt down. Knee height. And hold. Okay, number six coming up. Shoulder press. All right, eight seconds to go. Miles <laughs> back up. Shoulders back, nice and tall. Bicep curls. So if your weights are too heavy, it's a good point. You will start to notice your body is what we call Elvis the pelvis. Your body starts to rock and roll. So if your weights are too heavy, drop them down. All right, we're on to bent over rows. Down, pull, pull. All right, be strict with your movements as always. Full range of movement. Don't bounce here. You don't want to work the back up and back, up and down. Nice and strict movements. All right, change your grip. Upright row. Feeling this between my back and my shoulder blades there, Hobbs. Are you? How's the guy doing at home? You feeling it? I hope so, I hope so. I hope so. so. Nice and tall, yeah? Nice and tall. Drag the bar up your body. All right, you need to get this one up onto the collarbone and it's in so fast. So if you've got wrist problems, there is an option just to cross your hands over. Okay, so I'm resting this now on my shoulders. All right, step wide for your wide squat. So do it down and push. So all of that weight now is still at the front. I'm just cradling it with my arms. All right, so play around with it. Remember, as long as you are working, that's the most important thing. All right, we've got shoulder press. So I've got to change my grip now, hubs. Sorry. So up from here, press. All right, so I want you to bring that bar down in line with your chin. Then press it back up. Elbows forwards to isolate the muscles from the shoulders. All right, don't bring the bar down far past your chin. Catch it. All right, down we go. Okay, so we are reversing. So we're starting off with our shoulder press. 10 seconds to go. All right, how are we doing? Feeling it. Feeling it. Five seconds, it. let's go. Bars back up, so bar chin. 
output. So I've got a split stance up, right? Might that be? Okay, so split stance is great for just balancing out your body and just taking a little bit of pressure off your lower back. So that option is there for you, split stance. So we've got the wide squat coming up, guys. So balance that bar up, step out, down we go, squat down low. So make sure the knees are traveling outwards as well. We really want to hit those outer glutes. All right, then the next one. Calf raises, bring the feet in. Up onto the calves and down. Again, make sure you can feel your calves contract. Squeeze as much as you can, all the way up. Five seconds, upright row. So flip it, lower it. Again, drag the bar up your body nice and close. Oh, I'm starting to feel the shoulders now. Me too. Me too. How about you at home? You feel this? His elbows are leading away, right? So bent over row. We need to change that grip, remember. Change your grip under hands. Down to the knees. Row down. Row down. Back is nice and flat still. We've got one more to go. That's our bicep curl. Nice and tall up. Full range still. I'm only human after all. Hello, Good thing, you know? Oh, I don't know. I want to you guys at home. All right, hold. Bars down. Okay, so six down to five. All right, we're going back to those shoulder presses, but we're going to finish this time on the rows. All right, eight seconds. Keep going. Let's go. Bars back up. All right, so shoulder press. Hands over the top, bar to the chin. Press to the top and catch. Remember, chin height. Push, chin height. Push, chin height. Elbows into the front. Abs nice and tight and braced. Five seconds here. Wide squat, wide squat. Catch it. Down we go. Knees out towards the little toes. Engage those outer glutes. Because we all want to have a nice butt, don't we? Is that true, Mrs. H? What's that? We all want a nice butt, don't we? Yeah. Calf raises, so we're going to bring those feet in. And rise up. You know another reason why I work strong butts? Go. Helps reduce back pain. Wow, there you go. Reduces hip pain. You know what? Also reduces knee pain. There you go. Pretty good reasons, right? Good reason to work your butt. All right, so we're down into our upright row. That made sense, didn't it? Down into our upright row. But you know what? I followed you, my body bent down, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! This is, this is the one. This is where you start to feel it. Yeah, these upright these rows. Things that will drop first. Oh, okay, hands underneath grip. Let's go down to the knees. Remember, this is your last one on this round. Woo. Bent over rows. Yeah. Feeling it in the back, oh, yeah. feeling it in the arms, right? How about your shoulders? My shoulders are on fire. Mine too. Let's go. Five seconds. All right, bars down. Yeah, right. Okay, five down to four. So this round we are finishing with those tough upright rows. Okay team, we've got eight seconds. Shoulder press, remember, chin height, all the way up. Use the split stance if you want to. Let's go, bars up, push. Elbows squeezed in at the front. That's nice. Nice and tall. Abs in a brace, remember. We've got three seconds. We're going to catch it on the collarbone. Step out wide. Down we come, nice and low. Now you've got to try and keep your posture tall here. I know you're getting tired now. Keep the shoulders back. Sink into your heels. Knees out nice and wide. Drop your backside out and down. We've got three seconds. 
bring your feet in for calf raises. Squeeze through the calves. Alright, five seconds guys. We're going to finish this round on upright rows. Put the bar over and pull it up. Wow, my shoulders, they feel like they're burning. Do yours feel like they're burning? They do. How about they you go home? Are they burning yet? Oh. Right, we're nearly there, team. Five seconds. Come on, five seconds. One more, one more. Woo, put it down. Three to go. Shoulder press. White squat. Calf raises. Dance, everybody! Alright, here we go. Five seconds. Bars up. Push. Do 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 do. You have to excuse my signal. Oh, the hips are going to start to go outwards, aren't they? So they're going to start to buckle. And they're going to try and use their legs a little bit. You've got to be tall. Use that split stance. Oh, wide squat coming up. Catch it. Step. Here we go. Extra is cool with me. I like an extra. It's a front squat. It's a tough movement, but it's great for your legs. Oh, yeah. Five seconds. Half raises. All right, step in. Push. Is this the last one here in this round? This is your last one on this round, guys. Five seconds, team. Five seconds. Give me one more. Give me one more. Oh, yeah, really good. Well, All right, so we're about a minute 30 from the finish, okay? Two exercises to go. That's all we got, all right? So shoulder press and wide squat. Hit them hard. Finish strong. Woo, five seconds. Here we go. Shoulder press. Brace the core. Bar to chin, remember. No lower. We want to isolate the muscles through the shoulders as much as we can. We want them to work all the time. Okay, five seconds, guys. Wide squat coming up. Catch it. Step out a little bit more. All right, let's go. So it's your last wide squat, so let's work harder. Can you get a little bit more range through your legs? Yeah? Can you get a little bit more? Can you go a little lower? Oh, down, down, down. Push those knees outwards. Work through the heels. Lift the chest. Three seconds. Two, one, and rest. Okay, guys. One more to go. That's our shoulder press. Are we going to do this at pace or are we going to do it at speed? Let's do it at pace. Let's do it at pace. Okay, let's stay as we were. All right, so brace the core. Load it through the shoulders. Bars up. Last one. I'm going to do a split start for this one. Let's go. 20 seconds of work, guys. Push, catch, push, catch. Strict movements, remember. Good, 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 good. Okay, come on. Five seconds. That's all we've got left. All we've got left. We're going to hold this one up. Hold it up. Hold it up. Hold. Bring it down. Well done, everybody. Good job, everybody. How are you feeling after that? Should we go for a little of a bit of a stretch. Yep, let's do it. Alright, now it. the upper back needs a bit of a stretch. So we're going to start down on the knees. Wiggle that bum back, roll the back, push the back up to the sky. So you want a nice rounding right here. That head, drop it down. Push up there. That feels really good, yes? Oh, that feels nice. It's a good one. I like it. Should we just stay here? Yeah. 11 minutes, about right? No. Nice. Good? No? Okay. All right, now stand tall, open through your chest. Oh, that feels good too. We're gonna take one arm up, grab that wrist and pull over. Swap wrists and go the other side. Come back, reach up. And now let's give some rolling movement in those shoulders. Oh. Oh, are they feeling that? Yeah. Mine are as well. Are yours? <laughs> Roll forwards. That was good. I enjoyed that. Yeah, it was good. Very good. It's pretty cool. Very nice. 
All right, just open close through your chest. If you need more of a stretch, more of a cool down, have a look through the videos. There's plenty of stuff going on to my YouTube. Don't forget, we need to like and to subscribe these videos if you want to see them a little bit more. And we'd love to share them with you. So go on, hit subscribe. That's your workout done.